What's up, everybody? I hope you guys are having a good day today. I wanted to show you a trick in Lightroom and then into Photoshop for giving your uh, automotive photos a little bit more of a pop. Uh, hopefully, this is something that you'll find interesting, or in the least, you know, pass it on along to uh, you know any of your photography fan friends. If you're getting into photography and you're wondering you know how to take some cool uh, automotive photos uh, this will be one uh, simple trick that you can try the photo that you're gonna see here it's uh, only out of the camera uh, meaning that I just snapped the photo made sure my you know lighting and stuff was correct but I had nothing else to uh, add to this photo no flash no reflectors nothing so let me show you the photo first so as you'll see here the you know the, the car photo looks pretty nice uh, the the lens is a 50 millimeter lens and it is a uh, 1.8 I believe was the the number on it it's a 1.8 f-stop with a 50 millimeter lens and that's what gives it that cool blurry background so just as a first point if you're looking to get that blurry look in your photos uh, you're going to want to look for a lens that it says f and it's a lower number as you can get usually you can get a pretty cheap lens a cheaper lens because lenses aren't cheap at all uh, with a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens those will give you that's what this photo is here like i said it, everything is just out of the camera that you're looking at the at this photo so most people might think hey that's not a bad car photo um, you know it looks pretty good but hopefully by the end of this we'll make it pop a little bit more with just some simple tricks and um, you know you can go back to some of your car photos and update them as well so what we're gonna do first is as you'll see here it says that my photo is a ARW um, so when you're taking the photo or any of your future photos try to have them formatted in what's called raw you'll probably used to if you're kind of new to photography you're probably used to the jpeg you know we use jpegs for everything uh, but the raw format uh, adds a lot of data into that file into that photo so it gives you a lot of adjustments that you can do because there's a lot to go back to um, so that's how once I learned that little trick uh, I just haven't shot with anything else so let's close this up here and let's actually I'm gonna need that I'm gonna open this with with Lightroom okay so here we are in Lightroom and what I'm going to do is, you see that's check marked right here, and we're going to go ahead and import it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this. And you'll see here that it says create virtual copy. All right, so now you have the same photo. So what you're going to do next is we'll pick the first photo, and I'm going to click on develop. And here's our photo. So there's going to be two goals here. One, it's going to be we, as you'll see here, the grill area and the underside here are really dark. And of course, everything up here is nicely lit. So what we're going to do is we're going to adjust one for everything here, including the tire, so that this looks great. And then the second one, we're going to adjust it so all of this part here looks great so we'll start with and again this part here is all your choice what you find it excites you about your photo so uh, don't let it feel like this is a standard what you're gonna see me do is how I like the photo done but again you can do whatever you want with it but at least you'll learn the the, the tip on how to do it so what I'm going to do here is working on the grill first. I'm going to expose this higher, and as you can see, 
the grill area, the bumper, and now the lower part and even the tire here, you can really see them. But now I don't like that all this stuff is so overexposed that it just, for me, it just doesn't look good. So once I'm happy with this, let me make some more adjustments. And, you know, again, kind of just play with this back and forth to see, again, this area here that it looks good. Kind of just going back and forth. So now you can see the, the orange looks great. Up here it's bad, but again, we're not gonna use that. So just kind of making it quick for adjustment. Okay, so that part here, I, I like it. I like all of this section, how it looks. And of course you could see this part is really bad now. So we'll go back and now we're click down here and go to our other photo. And we're gonna go ahead and now adjust everything to make the outside of the car look great. So, cause I like the fact that it has the trees in the background a little bit. The white and, and I don't wanna make it too dark. And now the vibrance, I'm pumping that up a little bit. And now you can see the, for me, the orange looks nice. The, the green of the trees looks better. And of course now down here, it's really dark. So again, we'll kind of just leave it at that just so you can see where we're going with this. Now we'll go ahead, go back to the library. You can see the two examples here. I'm gonna select them both. So you click one, hold select and click the second one so that you now have them both picked and you will go into edit in and you're gonna do open as layers in Photoshop. So I'm gonna let this do its thing. All right, so now we have the two photos. We got the top photo and the bottom photo. So I love how this part looks here and I love how this part looks here in the other photo. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make sure to put the the this photo with the rest of the car looking good on top. And I'm gonna click down here where it says add layer mask. And this little layer mask is, is gonna show using the white color, as you can see here, it's gonna expose what's underneath here. So you go to your paintbrush and I'm painting with white. I'm sorry, click the opposite. I'm gonna paint with black. And as you're seeing, what's happening is, since it's the exact same photo, I am slowly showing, exposing, painting black, the parts that are under here. So all I'm doing is I'm painting the color black and it's slowly revealing the under part of the photo. So this is why I said, you're gonna uh, pick one photo and adjust everything for the lighting you want for this half. And then the other photo, which is this top photo, is adjusted for everything else. So as you can see here, everything is now exposed. Now, all I've done is just the grill area. I'm showing the under part, as you can see, there. And this is what I painted black. So uh, this alone makes a big difference. You know, you couldn't see this in the original photo, but now if you kind of just keep going, and again, this is gonna be all to your artistic taste. I'm 
gonna keep painting black on here to reveal again more and more of what's underneath here making sure to get every spot and yeah you can make the brush bigger so you can paint more area at once and again now you could see more of the tire so right there just the, that simple little adjustment you know, makes the photo pop a lot more. So what happens if you accidentally paint over here? All you have to do is make sure you have the color black and white selected. Click this little arrow button. It'll switch it to white. And now the white will bring back the this photo. So, again, if you have any questions on this, I mean, just let me know. Um, you know, again, this is a very just simple photo of this uh, Challenger. You'll see the you see the photo I posted on to Instagram on our Instagram page of of the final photo that I did earlier. But uh, again, this was just kind of uh, rushed, so I can go ahead and show you, you know, what this what the little tip is. If you, you know, try this out yourself, uh, set, you know, tag me on Instagram or, or on Facebook, wherever you post it. Um, so I could see, you know, like the before and after photo, uh, cause I'm really curious to see what, you know, what you, uh, guys and girls did with this. Cause, um, it's little things like this, that once you learn this trick, when you're out there actually shooting the photos, you already have this in mind that you're you want to do this that you start composing the photos a little bit differently since i had this in mind when i shot this challenger um, i went ahead and adjusted everything so that as you saw in the original photo everything looked you know not too bad but i already knew that in the end of this i was gonna you know use this use this te technique to pop up the color so Again, if you have any questions, like I said, you just go ahead and just save this um, as a JPEG, you know, post it wherever you want. And um, yeah, like I said, just a quick, simple trick, uh, the little mask, you know, it's a real lifesaver. Once I learned this trick, it, you know, it really helped change my uh, photography uh, to make the photos look how I envisioned them. And um, I hope it does the same thing for you guys too. So uh, drop me a line, leave me a comment. And uh, again, we'll see you on the uh, next video. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to do a side-by-side -side, so you can see the difference. So as you can see here, these are the, the two photos after, all, after they're all done side-by-side. -side, it's the exact same photo. Um, again, this is great for uh, beginning photographers that don't have all the nice lighting equipment that you would need to try to get this shot with, within the camera. Um, that's a whole nother topic for a later date that I'll show you how to do. But as you see here, I mean, you know, if you're putting this on your Instagram feed, it's really going to pop compared to the one on the left. And if that's what you're trying to go for, you know, if you're trying to get into this for fun, for, you know, maybe a future career, um, little tips like this. I mean, if you showed me on your portfolio, on your uh, Instagram account that, hey, I, I'm, I could shoot cars. You show me the one on the left, I'd say, hey, you know, you, you can at least take a decent shot. But when I see the one on the right, you know, now you're going to grab my attention. Or at least when I'm going through my feed, that one's going to stick out a little bit more than the one on the left. So, um, again, like the video if you agree. If you don't like it, well... That's what the thumbs down button's for. But again, if you did learn something, you know, hit the subscribe button and um, we'll, you know, we'll, if you like this type of stuff, I'll try more videos like this. Um, every time I do something like this, it pushes me a little bit more. I learned a lot. So, you know, it benefits both of us. So again, leave me a comment, leave me an email uh, and tag me definitely if you use this technique and you're happy with it. Um, again, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.